Good morning, everyone. My name is Abby Bliss White, and today we finally get to use the zip. I received this a couple weeks ago, and then I had gum surgery, and I haven't been able to use this yet, so I have been dying. This has been a total, um, you know, work like to not be able to use this <laughs> having it in my house um so anyways today we are going to dive in and actually use the zip so this is the very first time i'm ever using it so we're going to be working through this together um okay so i am just a wee bit excited I had done a ton of research. I was kind of on the fence between getting the Zip and getting the New Face, which I still think is a fantastic product. But I ended up going with the Zip for a couple reasons. Um, I heard that even though this is expensive um, gel, that this is less reactive to the skin. I have kind of sensitive reactive skin and that this product um, and they also have a silver gel which we're going to be doing too but just not today um, that I have in-house um, but I heard that it actually is um, just a little less sensitive and then they also have um, this one treats hyperpigmentation as well as acne for my daughter so kind of thought you know what let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get this one. It was a little bit more expensive than the new face, but um, considering everything, I did get mine on sale at a Black Friday thing. But, okay, enough with that. Let's just get in, how about that? So, okay, I am going to put on my ratty. Sorry, you guys, I really need to clean or get a new headband. <laughs> um, okay, we are gonna put this on. And then um, I'm just gonna clip back my hair. Now, one thing I am gonna do because I had watched a couple videos, I am going to put on a few serums before I put on the conductive gel. So I am using um, Biologique Recherche and I use a cocktail of um, colostrum, collagen, marin, and BG Tencel. So I'm gonna put that on before because we might as well get the maximum effect. So I just take a couple drops of my colostrum and this one, you guys, is for hydration. And then collagen marin is just to exactly do that, help boost collagen, doing a couple bit of drops of that. And then the BG Tencel, you guys, is for firming. So I thought that would be good. And you guys, this one, you actually do feel a little firming effect. So I just rub this together and I am going to press those serums into my face. Um, I'm a wee bit excited. <laughs> oh, I am feeling like myself and I got clearance to use this. Um, it has been a couple weeks um, since or it's been two weeks since I had um, gum grafts, which it was a little bit more intensive than I imagined. So this has been sitting here for two weeks not being used, and I'm sorry, but we both know the skincare junkie in me has been so sad. Okay, so I put on those lovely serums. That's what I saw Melanie Simon. She actually put some serums on. And then you guys, this Zip Golden Gel, it's supposed to have some really nice properties. Um, you know, it's kind of a treatment gel. So that was the only thing I was worried about with the new face. I had heard that um, the gel was breaking out a few of the other people. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and it said put a nice thick layer of this on and underneath the eyes. I'm not exactly, you guys, this literally is the first time. Like, we are doing this together. Um, I feel like maybe I should put a little bit more on. I don't want it to. Um, okay, so this gel definitely feels um, slick. <laughs> I'm gonna just put a little bit more on for safekeeping since this is um, 
my first time. And we're gonna go ahead, I, you guys, I'm gonna do a series of videos showing you the different treatments, but I'm gonna start with the classic Energize. Um, they even have a sensitive version of it, but um, um, I thought that I would just start with the classic Energize. So what I'm gonna do is you take your phone and I have connected my, I've got my little, I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, so it lights up. It's letting me know that it's on. My hands are greasy now. And then I take my phone and it's really kind of cool, you guys. And I'm gonna say start, um, hold the, okay, it's sinking. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys. Okay, it's sinking. Now it's synced. And then I'm going to, okay, now, whoops. Um, hold near sinking. Okay, so now what do I do? Okay, press play to begin the treatment. When applying conductive gel, use a generous amount. I use nine pumps. Oop, play a little now bit. make sure you really coat the skin all the way up to the lash line, all the way out to the ear line, down the neck, down the throat, all the way down here all the way up to the hairline and it's important in areas where your skin is thin like the forehead and the eye area that you get a good coating on there so that you don't drop the current i'm gonna put it's some more okay if you get it on the lips you should be coated like this whatever's left i usually just rub into my arms and then I wash my hands so that it's not slippery when I'm doing my treatment. Now let's begin. So we're going to turn our zip device on right here. You should hear one beat. If you heard two, then go ahead and hit this button again and you'll hear the one beep and that means that your zip is on. Now, if at any point you get behind me in the video, just push pause on the video, add more conductor gel, hit play again, and pick right back up where you left off. When the device is not touching your skin, it's paused right in that place. So let's start. Okay, we're gonna start right down here on the outside of the neck, and with a good amount of pressure, we're gonna slowly move up the neck. We wanna see those lights come on, and we're gonna hold until we feel a vibration. Okay. And again, and you've got to do a good amount of pressure oh, here. Now I'm feeling it. We do two vibrations on each location on the neck. Okay, next we're moving to the mid neck mid. on this side. So I'm looking for my legs to see that they're on. Pushing pretty hard, holding. Stop. Okay, and we're going to do that again. See the lights are on. As long as the lights are on, the current is running through your skin. Now we're going to turn it vertical and we're going to do three strokes on the face for every location. So we're pulling all the way out to the corner of the ear. There's the vibration. We're going to do that again. I can see the lights are on, so I know I'm conducting. And I'm holding. And I'm going to do my third one right now. Pulling out the bottom of the ear and holding. Next, we're moving right here under the cheekbone. Okay, and our top probe is going to touch the top of the ear. And we're waiting for the vibration, and then we're doing that one again. You can 
can see my lights are on, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, all right, doing that one again. And now the next location, you're gonna go right above the upper lip. Make sure you're using good pressure and you're mm -hmm. just going to go back and forth. Okay, there was one vibration. Not even lifting up. There was my second vibration. That was three for me. So next we're moving to the nasal labial fold. We're gonna put it right over that nasal labial fold and then you're gonna carve up around the cheekbone and pull up to the temple. Let's do it again, right back down here. And see how the probes are going on the side of my cheekbone and pulling up. All right, and now we're on our third one. It's gonna go right like this. And moving up, up, up. All right, now we're moving under the eye. So we're gonna start horizontally and you'll see that light come on. So you know it's conducting. It's now very gentle current. So there's very little feeling whatsoever. And your weight, you're gonna do three vibrations. So count them. I'm at two. And that was my third one. Now we're going to turn it vertical. And then we want our upper probe right at the lash line. And I want you pulling out, 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 out until you get the vibration. Then back down to the inner eye. And then you pull all the way out, out, out. And then you're bringing it back down here to the corner of the tear duct. And your probe is just right under that lash line and you're pulling out, out, out. Now next we're moving to the forehead. You've got to use a lot of pressure here and we're starting here on the outside point of the brow. So we're going to pull up, 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 up until we feel the vibration. And then we're going to do that again. And I'm right under my brow, and you can fishtail to move your device up. Second vibration. If you're not feeling any vibration here, that means you need more conductive gel treatment. So just pause the video, add more gel, press play, and continue with me. Putting on a little bit more gel, guys. <laughs> we're literally doing this together. All right, for everyone else, we're right over the peak of the brow. Get under Whoop. that peak of the brow and pull up, up, up. Okay, and now we're doing it a second time. Ah. And next, we're moving right to the peak of the brow, so, or the start of the brow, so you can kind of turn diagonal, you can see, and then I see those lights are on, and I'm pulling up, 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 waiting for that vibration. Here I am on my second one. If 
vibration and my third one. Now next we're moving wow. to the elevens right here. So you're gonna push down pretty hard. You'll see the light come on. And you're gonna move back and forth up to the top of the hairline. Now, if all you're concerned with is the 11s, you can just stay in this area and move back and forth. Otherwise, just keep moving up to the top of the hairline. And this is the third one. So we're gonna hear a beep right after this to indicate that we're halfway through the treatment. So we're gonna start same place applying a good amount of pressure. See that light come on, moving up to behind the ear and holding until I feel a vibration. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same exact thing again. I feel that one, there we go. Up to behind the ear and I'm holding for the vibration. Next, we're going to move to the mid-neck, and we're pulling up, 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 under the chin, or the jawline, and holding, and again, holding. Okay, now we're going to go up the side of the throat, and right under the chin, and we're going to hold for the vibration. Those vibrations should be coming about every 10 seconds. If they're not, pause the video, apply more conductive gel. You want to be looking to see that your lights are on? Okay, good. Now we're going to move on to the jawline. So we're going to turn vertical, and we're going to carve out that jawline and move right in front of the ear. Okay, we're going to do this again. We do every stroke on the face three times. So right in front of the ear. And the third time. right in front of the ear. Next, we're moving right here, right under the cheekbone. We're gonna make like a little half moon, and your top probe's gonna land out here on your upper ear area, and you're waiting for the vibration. All right, we're gonna do that again. To the upper ear. All right, and a third time. Like I said, the vibrations come about every 10 seconds. And I'm holding. All right, now we're moving on to the upper lip. So we're just gonna bounce back and forth for three vibrations. You can slow down if you have a certain area, like one line in particular, or if you have lines all on your upper lip, you just go back and forth. All right, so that was three for me. Now we're going over the nasal labial fold, and we're going to carve up and around the cheekbone and out to the temple. Back to the nasal labial fold. And it goes, your probes go around your cheekbone and up toward the temple and out. Third time, nasal labial fold. And you want your probe on each side of your cheekbone and pulling up and out. All right, now we're moving to the under eye area. So once you set it down, you're waiting for those lights to turn on. 
And now you're just going to slide back and forth gently for three vibrations. So you want to count those vibrations. You can go really slow or you can move a little bit faster if you want. All right, next we're turning the device vertically. And our upper probe is right under the eye and we're pulling up. And then we're setting back down and the right, your probe should be right under your tear duct. And then under your lash line and out. And then one more time. Lash line and out. Okay, and now we're going to start the forehead area. We're going to start at the tail of the brow. So get right under your brow, get some good pressure on, and it helps to kind of zigzag back and forth. It helps it move along. Move up, up, up until you feel the vibration. Let's do that again. If you're not feeling a vibration coming, pause and apply more gel. And you need to keep good pressure on with this one. Good. Just see sawing back and forth. Okay, now we're moving right here in the middle of the eye. And we're going to move all the way up to the hairline. Okay, vibration one. Sorry. Vibration two. Vibration three. Now we're going to go right here over the start of the brow. You can see my zips illuminated. I know it's conducting and I'm going to feel my vibration at about 10 seconds. There we go. Woo. My hands are greasy guys. So I'm a little all the way up. You are not going to be feeling any current in this area. All right, so now we're going to do the 11s. So we're going to go right over the middle here, push down. You'll see the light zigzagging back and forth up to the hairline. Now, if you only care about the 11s, you can just stay in this area. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm on my last stroke. I'm going all the way up to the hairline. Mm -hmm. You guys are definitely learning with me. And then you'll hear two beeps, which something means soft, what? like gauze, oh. or like your microfiber towelette that we give you with your zip kit. You can also spray it in rubbing alcohol to sanitize it. Get it nice and clean. And then put it back inside of its little travel pouch and seal it up for safekeeping. Wow. Okay, you guys, that was a little bit of a learning curve for me, um, but I want to see if you guys can see. So what I'm going to do, this was literally first impression, okay? But I'm wondering if you guys can see um, any lifting or all of that. I kind of could see it right through my eyebrows. 
Um, okay, I'm going to go take off this lovely gel and um, we'll see, but I'm gonna continue on with this series. You guys have been dying to use this. I probably should have done the video first and then did this with you. <laughs> but you know what? First impression is first impression. So I think that's a good thing. But um, so far, I think once I get the hang of it, I think I'm gonna love it. I think one of the other things is, is that to do the results, it said that with the zip, you only needed to do it three times a week, which seemed dealable to me versus with the new face. I think you're supposed to use it uh, consistently for, you know, like every single day, maybe five times a week. But uh, there was just a couple other things. So anyways, I am, I am kind of seeing something. We'll see. But we'll do another treatment. And I'm going to also try the silver gel with you. Okay, you guys. I just rinsed off the conductive gel. And I just wanted to give you a little um, see what you think afterwards. My skin feels super moisturized, you guys. I haven't put anything on yet, but it feels very plump, um, very smooth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put on my moisturizer real quick. I am using the Creme MSRH from Biologique Recherche. Let's just finish off the routine. Just taking a teeny bit. Um, I actually have to tell you, um, this was one of these products I was on the fence on and I love it. <laughs> it just feels so glorious and it actually smells so, it smells, it smells vanilla-y to me, but it's a lovely, yummy smell. Um, I say this just because a lot of the, um, my, these little serums, they don't smell good whatsoever. <laughs> So this is a little treat to have like a finishing cream that um, is just lovely. Okay, so we have moisturized and then I am going to put on my Glow Beauty Solar Shade SPF 50 to finish off my little routine. Um, and then you guys, yeah, I coat this guy on. Don't worry, I know it's white, but it um melds into the skin um but i will tell you just after initial thought my skin feels super it does feel firm um and i don't even know if i did it that well or if i needed more conductive gel so i think that for the first try i think that was fine i can't wait to use it again and just kind of um really dig in there uh, not dig it, but you know, that was literally my first learning curve. So anyways, this is the skin after using Zip. It feels, it does the texture. It feels very smooth, um, moisturized. Um, and let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the day. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. And you guys, again, I'm going to go through and we'll do different, um, some of their treatments. And we're going to try the silver gel next, which I think is a little bit more for brightening and hyperpigmentation, which I'm super excited about. Okay. You have a fabulous day and thank you for watching. Okay, guys. One, I thought I would just pop in after I put on um, some makeup real quick and just see if you guys can see any difference. Um, you saw it without makeup and then with, uh, now that I have some makeup on, I will list everything below that is on my face. I'm basically reduplicating that Charlotte du um, Tilbury um, pillow talk look and using the magic foundation. Um, which I'm actually liking. So anyways, I do have to say once I was applying everything, I felt that the texture of my skin was super smooth. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you a little like, um, uh, you know, update just as to whether, what it felt like afterwards. It just feels super hydrated. It's probably due to the conductive gel. Um, it really does feel kind of like a treatment. So, um, 
We will continue on this journey, but I thought, let me just show you with makeup on, just kind of like, you know, how smooth, it was really easy, I guess I would say, to apply everything today, um, just because my skin is super hydrated, and um, we will just continue on this journey. Thank you guys for watching, and we will, I'll be back with another zipperoo. <laughs>